Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play The Bard's Tale for the NES Part 11. When we last left off, I dorked out and couldn't figure out how to restore Lug Lug back to normal. So with that said, let's finish this game. I don't have time for you, Archmage. I'm running. This level is a maze, but it's not a very hard maze. You either go the right way or you go the wrong way. Uh oh, it's one of those tough sons of bitches who turned Lug Lug to stone. Well, if we can't run, I guess we're just gonna have to whoop his ass. I guess that Demon Strike spell doesn't work on great demons. Oh, great, he's breathing dragon breath on us. This is going to hurt. I don't know what I was thinking here. I should have had Honky Kong cast us another Wind Dragon. Finally, the great demon is defeated. Ah, oh, what is it now? Oh, it's a beholder. I can't run, so I guess I'm gonna have to fight him. This won't be so bad as long as he doesn't use his cheap-ass restoration spell. Ouch! Not only did he do 174 damage to Jay, he also turned me nuts. And look at that, I attacked Star Soldier and did 138 damage to him. Sorry, buddy. Oh, great. Now Lug Lug's nuts. And he's attacking Magma. He did 102 damage to him. Oh, my. Oh no, I'm nuts again. Who am I going to attack? Oh, Jacksaw for 131. Sorry, buddy. Yay, we finally defeated the asshole Beholder. Now I'm going to go ahead and cast us a restoration spell. This will heal the party completely. Indeed. Uh-oh, music change. Time to sing another Repel Spell song. That was just a black dragon and I kicked his ass. Really, I just take one step and I had to fight another black dragon?
Before I forget, let's go ahead and summon us another Wind Dragon. We've been walking around without one for a while now. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Restoration to heal up the party. Indeed. Oh, what is it now? Oh, it's a beholder. Let's run away. All right, it worked. You sent something dreadful on the other side of the door. This is the Demon Lord. He is a mini-boss before you fight the final boss, Mangar. So let's treat him like a regular boss. Let's have our first four fighters attack, have Honky Kong cast battle skill on Jay, and have Magma WK cast his armor collapse on the Demon Lord. Whoa, he just did 284 damage to Jay. This round, we're going to attack with our first four fighters, have Honky Kong cast battle skill on Lug Lug, and have Magma WK use his Dragon's Breath, just in case. And just like that, the Demon Lord is defeated. Magma, go ahead and cast your Restoration spell to get us all healed up. Indeed. Now let's have Star Soldier sing us the Seeker's Ballad to lower our armor class. Now Mangar is in front of you. His cruel eyes peer into your very being. Why do you disturb me? This world of ice is most beautiful, no? Feelings and emotion of humans are so ugly. Why do you bother with them? I can feel the rage burning inside of you. Want a chance to fight me, you puny human? Fine. I'll give you a chance if you want to call it that. Oh great, the party's not ready for combat. And he's using his cheap-ass restoration spell. Yes, Mangar has cheap-ass restoration spell. So let's have our four main fighters attack him, have Honky Kong cast battle skill on Jay, and since armor collapse does not work on Mangar, let's have Magma WK cast some Dragon's Breath. We need to do as much damage to him as we can. He has 3,200 hit points. I did edit the beginning of this battle. I had to fight Mangar three times before I beat him. The first two times I fought him, the battles lasted over 30 minutes. He kept using his cheap-ass restoration spell and healing himself, until I ran out of magic points and then he would kick my ass. Mangar is a very hard final boss and is very unpredictable. I really wish Mangar would use his wand every round. But like I said, Mangar's unpredictable. You never know when he'll use his cheap ass restoration spell.
Yes, Mangar's using his wand again. I hope he does it every round. Since we lost our Wind Dragon, let's go ahead and summon another one. Wow, I can't believe I'm getting this lucky and he keeps using his wand. Magma, go ahead and cast us a delicious flesh and new spell. Indeed. Yeah, that was exactly what I wanted. Mangar, go ahead and attack our wind dragon. That's fine with me. At this point, I've done a lot of damage to him. He's got to be close to dying. And look at what this son of a bitch does. Yeah, he uses his cheap-ass restoration spell. That's some bullshit. I'm not sure if it heals him all the way up to full health, but I'm sure it heals a big chunk of his health. Since this wind dragon's taking a lot of damage, let's go ahead and summon another one. And hopefully Mangar will keep attacking it. Nope, he's attacking Lug Lug for 335 damage. Oh, who's he attacking now? Star Soldier for 336 damage. Ouch. One thing I learned in this battle is that you can stack up the battle skill, which is pretty cool. Yes, Mangar's using his wand. As long as he's not using his cheap-ass restoration spell, that's fine with me. Wow, this battle's been going on for a while now. That just shows you how badass Mangar is.
Yes, keep using your wand, Mangar, please. The first two times I fought Mangar, I really thought that he could not be beat. Oh no, now he's trying to turn everyone nuts! Of course, Magma's nuts now and he's attacking Jay. Thanks a lot, buddy. Oh my! Holy shit, I was not expecting that. That's how you beat the Bard's Tail for the NES. It seems nature breathes a sigh of relief. As you feel a warm breeze from the south. The sun breaks through the clouds. And sunshine pours through the window. The light sears the body of Mangar. It crumbles to pieces and turns to dust. Silence wraps itself around your party with peace and accomplishment. Galarin, the good archmage, appears before you in a flash of light. Well done! Your quest in Scarabra is now finished. The wicked one is now defeated and his spell of winter will soon end. Why did Mangard do it? He may have been controlled by his own magic or by his quest for power. We may never know. Let's go back. Let it be known to all the people that the era of fear is over. You float in the air as Kylarian waves his wand. Peace has returned to Scarabraw. So sit back and enjoy the credits. I don't know how much you're going to enjoy them because there is no music. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play The Bard's Tale for the NES Part 11. I hope you've enjoyed it. I want to thank you again for watching, and thanks for the support.